Okay, guys, I'm Kim here to show you what I got for Thanksgiving. This year, I'm not going to show y'all what I'm going to cook. I might show y'all how I make the cheese man, um, but I put in, but I'm going to show y'all what I bought personally for this year. So, what I got is the, the um, recipe for the cheese man, but I put in. So, you need cream cheese. I'm also going to this one more green because I'm on a budget. Now I bought some bananas. I try to find the most yellowest ones because you post the when you post the banana but you have them kind of ripe, it's sweet. Some butter, some whipped cream. I bought two things. I was gonna get the name brand one for one ninety eight, and I got these for ninety eight cents. So I could have had two of these for the same price of that name brand one. So I'm glad I got the um, great value one. I need something green in my life, so I bought some asparagus, and put some butter and garlic pepper. No, garlic, not pepper, garlic salt. I might do, and just get some, I might put some roasted garlic herb on there instead. Kind of spice it up, it tastes kind of good. I'm trying to eat more healthy, y'all. I bought my two yams for my yams. I need to take this, it's going bad. I'm scared. But when it comes to me and produce at my apartment, it gets bad easily. Like, that's why I don't really like bringing stuff out. But yeah, this is my sweet potato for my ham. Yeah. Make it homemade, yeah. Sweet, yeah. I can make a TikTok for that, okay. I bought some dessert too. Um, I got, I got, I'm making two desserts. One of these, the pumpkin spice. Cookies. I wanted it last year, but I ended up late like, was sold out. So I'm glad it's fully stocked this year. I can get it. And I hope it tastes good. I think I got these. I remember it tasted nasty. Hopefully I don't regret it. I bought some like vanilla ice cream or something to kind of balance it. I hope it tastes good. And I bought When it comes to me and macaroni and cheese, I'm a specialist. So I make sure I get the extra sharp cheddar cheese. The sharp cheddar cheese. Pep not pepper jack, cheddar jack. Mild cheddar. And fiesta blend. So you get like a bit of everything. And one thing I like the extra sharp cheddar is it gives you like a little tanginess with the macaroni and cheese. Cause you don't want to just straight cheese. You want to have that tanginess that in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? I can't explain it, y'all. I love some extra cheddar. Extra sharp cheddar on my macaroni and cheese. And the base could be Velveeta. If I ever criticize me of using Velveeta, but I'm gonna still use it. I'm gonna stick beside it. But this time I'm getting a smaller version of it because. Last time I literally throw away a half of Velveeta, the regular size Velveeta, in the trash, and it didn't, I didn't feel right in my in my in my soul. I wasted a lot of money. Oh! And I bought some elbows. I was freaking out. Cause I thought, you know, I thought I was out of elbows. I thought the Walmart was out of elbows. But luckily, I got two of these just in case if I want more macaroni and cheese, or if I want to later make macaroni and cheese, I bought these. Ooh, that's my worst fear. Let me, I don't want to crick it. Dang. Sorry about this positioning, y'all. My tripod, I think it's old. Um, and of course, I started back from my Sherman, Sherman. It's cheese, it's cheese, man. Oh, banana pie, y'all. Uh, banana pudding. I'm tripping. So, what I make for that is you're supposed to put French vanilla and banana pudding, but you know, I gotta switch it up and make my own thing. So I made sure I got the French vanilla and the cheesecake flavor to give it a little kick of cheesecake in there, even though it's gonna be cream cheese in there. But I wanna kinda like kick it up with a little notch, the flavor. And, ooh. And then banana cream, which is the main ingredient. Banana cream. And then I got the bananas. So I put the bananas on top. 
and then the, the, the cookies. Oh yeah, they show you the cookies. Okay, y'all, this is like the day before Thanksgiving. Um, I'm literally redoing my hair, y'all. Like, I'm not gonna pay $40 to get my hair redone. So I'm just gonna do it myself. Cause I always wanted how to like, I wanna like learn how to do wigs. So this is the, it look crazy right now, but it look kind of cute when it like just had middle part vibe. It's like, I like it. So, um, I've got to show y'all cause my video kind of got cut. The, um, banana plant. So it's kind of like half done. So I used the cheese man, um, cookies. I need to buy some more. Okay, I'm back. It's been like two days. My, my vlog, it's, it's going to be choppy y'all. But I'm just showing y'all what I made for Thanksgiving, the process, and all that. Because this year, I'm not showing how I cook the things because it's a lot of work to record. So, I'm going to show y'all my glaze, my um, my ham right now. So, this is my first time making the glaze. I mean, it's nah, it's my second time, but I'm kind of like rusty. Cause I haven't really made homemade food in a long time. But, yeah, this is my glaze. I'm supposed to let it shimmer down. So, I'm going to make it cool down a little bit. Put it to low right now. So, hope it turned out good. When I smelled it, it smelled super sweet, and I love it. I love it. And I also got my cheese man banana pudding. I hope it tastes good. I let it be in the fridge for a good two days and it settle. But I'm excited for that too. And now I'm on my noodle. Kind of already. And my hair not even done. I need to fix my hair, and I look a mess, y'all. But this food better be good because I put my fucking elbows in it. So, yeah, now I gotta make the dessert. I might eat my dessert early, y'all, because I have nothing else to eat. The rest of everything is in the oven, and I'm kind of good on time because I'm gonna be with my people for the rest of the day. And later on at night, I have to be with my boo family and stuff. So, yes. So, I, I kind of did this. On a good time. Now I need to clean while everything's baking. Cause the mess. Yeah, this is my next side. I hope this is gonna turn out good. I use pineapple, a little bit of pineapple juice to make it kind of like sangy. And I put um some brown sugar, sugar, and some um, nutmeg, and you know what I'm saying, some cinnamon. And it looks pretty good now. So I'm gonna cover it with foil, and I guess I'll show y'all the ending result on that. But for now, I got noodles for my macaroni and cheese. This is gonna be a lot of macaroni and cheese, so I'm gonna have to cut this in half. I don't know. This is yeah. the macaroni and cheese right here. Still need to get cooked. I gotta wait until my other two things are ready. Look <clears throat> at all this mess, y'all. Work in progress, y'all. Work in progress. Yes, ma'am. So I'm putting the glaze on here. It's so good. Excuse the butter on the side over there. I'm back after a few hours. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what's already done. Excuse the, excuse my hair. My, I'm, it's already progress my hair. Like literally, I'm trying to fix it up. So I'm gonna show. I don't know if this is burnt or well done, but just believe it's 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 cooked in the inside. But this is how it looks now. And this is my macaroni and cheese. It looks super good. And then my yams is currently in the oven. I want it to be more softened. So now I might make my play. I might just try these two items. And y'all. This was so good. This was so good. I let it sit in there for like a day and a half. Flavoring, the flavoring went in there and it made it super good. So these two items are pretty good now. I'm make some I was low key debating about this because I'm like, do I really need it? But then when what I realized, y'all, I need to eat some more greens. So asparagus be perfect for my meal. Okay, y'all. I had to test all this with y'all. I ate some, I'm being honest, but I didn't try my asparagus. It's my second time eating asparagus on my third time. This is the plate overall.
And you know what I'm saying? I got to do a little thumbnail, y'all. So I'm gonna try the asparagus. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I put some roasted garlic on here, butter, and some steak seasoning. chewy but I ate some of my macaroni and cheese and make it make it swallow down my throat but overall it tastes super good but it's like I need to get used to eating greens y'all I'm trying to eat healthy all this stuff with butter and all that I need, I'm trying to counterbalance it with the with the greens but it's like mm, and I feel like the rest of it gonna be in my um refrigerator forever. I always do that. When stuff is nasty, I let it stay in my refrigerator. I need to stop doing that. It's a habit. Uh, <laughs> but, um, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me show you how tender the steak is. Not steak. The ham, like, literally, it don't, it's not brains well done, y'all. So, like, this literally, look at this juiciness. It's not dry, baby. Look how oozy. Not. But I'm gonna try my alarm came off. I'm waiting on my yams, y'all. Like, that's the big part of my entrees, yams. I love yams. And I kind of regret doing it homemade, but I want to do some homemade stuff so I get used to homemade food instead of processed food. So I'm waiting on my yams. And did I show y'all? The banana, oh yeah, I did show you a banana pudding. That banana pudding was buzzed. But I'm still thinking if I should do um, the cookies. But I might wait until my boyfriend come over to do the cookies to try them together. Cause I remember, I think I remember now, those cookies might be nasty. The pumpkin spice ones with the white chocolate in them might be nasty. So I wanna give them to my boyfriend if it if it is. So he can have them, take them, take them back home with him because he my little garbage can and some something when it comes to food. But I'm waiting on my yams now, y'all. And then I'm gonna be with family. And that's it. I'm gonna do another vlog for later on tonight. If it is vlog worthy, I might try to record, but I don't know, y'all. 